Good day everyone, we are the group 8 who presents chapter 8, which is the Nano World. I am Jeremy Kubuin together with my group mates Manaril Angelica, Marcelo Raisel, Mendoza Judean, and Pilaes Joanna. Many things have changed in our society nowadays. Modern technologies continuously arise globally, particularly the use of nanotechnology. People are not aware that this technology is already being used in their everyday lives. Nanoscale materials have been used for decades in applications ranging from window glass and sunglasses to car bumpers and paints. Now, however, the convergence of scientific disciplines which is the chemistry, biology, electronics, physics, engineering, and so on, is leading to a multiplication of applications in materials manufacturing, computer chips, medical diagnosis and healthcare, energy, biotechnology, space exploration, security, and so on. Hence, nanotechnology is expected to have a significant impact on our economy and society within the next 10 to 15 years. The learning objectives. First, explain the concept of nanotechnology. Second, discuss the applications of nanotechnology and discuss the major impacts, both potential and real life of nanotechnology on society. Nanotechnology. Nanoscience is the study of phenomena and manipulation of materials at atomic, molecular, and macromolecular scales. In order to understand and exploit properties that differ significantly from those on a larger scale, nanotechnologies are their design, characterization, production, and application of structures, devices, and systems by controlling shape and size on a nanometer scale. In other words, nanotechnology is a technology that manipulates and controls a substance at the nanometer level. The nanometer level is the level of atoms and molecules, and create new materials and devices with facilitating functions making the best use of the special properties of nano-sized substances. For example, today people need devices able to store information at high densities and high speeds using little energy. One what to realize is to make each component very small. However, as there are limits to miniaturizing components with existing technology, there is also a need for a technology that uses a different nanotechnology approach to process components and system with nanometer level precision. Also, when the size of the matter is at the level of several molecules or atoms, Certain properties, the quantum effect or the surface effect, are classified, which are not noticeable when a substance is a large mass. Therefore, the downsizing to the nanometer level can provide the consumers not only the miniatures but also completely new devices operated by such special properties. The term nanotechnology was created by Norio Daniguchi of Tokyo University in 1974 to describe the precision manufacture of materials with nanometer tolerances 1, but its origin date back to Richard Feynman's in 1959 talk, there's plenty of room at the bottom too, in which he proposed the direct manipulation of individual atoms as a more powerful form of synthetic chemistry. Modern industrial nanotechnology had its origin in the 1930s in process used to create silver coatings for photographic film, and chemists have been making polymers, which are large molecules made up of nanoscale subunits, for many decades. However, the earliest known use of nanoparticles is in the 9th century during the Abbasid dynasty. Arab potters use nanoparticles in their glasses so that objects would change color depending on the viewing angle, the so-called polychrome luster. The properties of materials can be different on a nanoscale for two main reasons. 
First, nanomaterials have relatively a larger surface area than the same mass of material produced in a larger form. These can make materials more chemically reactive. In some cases, materials that are inert in their larger form are reactive when produced in their nanoscale form and affect their strength or electrical properties. Second, below 50 nanometer, the laws of classical physics give way to quantum effects, provoking optical, electrical, and magnetic behaviors different from those at the same material at a larger scale. These effects can give materials very useful physical properties such as exceptional electrical conduction or resistance or a high capacity for storing or transferring heat and can even modify biological properties with silver, for example, becoming a bactericide on a nanoscale. The three of the most talk about nanotechnologies. The first one is carbon nanotubes, second is nanoparticles, and the last one is quantum dots. When we say carbon nanotubes, it is along thin cylinders of atomic layers of graphite, maybe the most significant new material since plastics are the most significant of today's nanomaterials. They come in a range of different structures allowing a wide variety of properties. They are AT generally classified as a single wall or SWNT, consisting of a single cylindrical wall or multi-walled nanotubes or MWNT, which have a cylinders within the cylinders. So when we say carbon nanotubes and graphite are the common additives or laging magkasama. Some proposed uses for nanotubes. The first one is chemical and genetic probes. It is a nanotube tip atomic force microscope can trace a strand of DNA and identify chemical markers that reveal which of the several possible variants of a gene is present in the strand. And the second one is field emission based devices. It is a carbon nanotubes have been demonstrated to be efficient, field emitters, and are currently being incorporated in several applications, including flat panel display for television sets or computer or any devices requiring an electron-producing cathodes such as a X-ray sources or for medical application. And the third one is Super sensitive sensors. It is a semiconducting nanotubes change their electrical resistance dramatically when exposed to alkalis, halogens, and other gases at room temperature, rising hopes for better chemical sensors. The sensitivity of these devices is 1000 times that of a strand salt state. And when we talk about nanoparticles, nanoparticles have been used antiquity by ceramics in China and the West. While 1.5 million tons of carbon black, the most abundant nanoparticles materials, are produced every year. Metal oxide or ceramic, metal, and silicate nanoparticles constitute the most common of the new generation of nanoparticles. And when we talk about quantum dots, just a carbon nanotubes are often described as the new plastics, so quantum dots are defined as the ball bearing of the nano H11. Quantum dots are like artificial atoms. They are one nanomaterial structures made of materials such as silicon, capable of containing a single electron or a few thousand, whose energy states can be controlled by applying a given voltage. In theory, this could be used to fulfill the alchemist's dream of changing the chemical nature of a material. A scale material, as mentioned, had been used for many decades 
in several applications are already present in a wide range of products, including mass market consumers' products. And let's talk. And let's talk about some of the uses of nanotechnologies in consumer products. The first one is a glass for windows, which is coated with titanium oxide. Nanoparticles that react to the sunlight to break down dirt. When water hits the glass, it is spread evenly over the surface instead of forming droplets and runs up rapidly talking with the dirty heat. Second, nanotechnologies are used by the car industry to reinforce certain properties of car, bumpers, and to improve the adhesive properties of paints. Sunglasses Using protective and anti-reflective ultra-thin polymer coatings, nanotechnology also offers scratch-resistant coatings based on nanocomposites that are transparent, ultra-thin, simple to care for well suited for daily use and reasonably price. Textile. Incorporate nanotechnology to make practical movements to such properties as wind proofing and the waterproofing, preventing wrinkling or um, staining and guarding against electrostatic discharge. Sports equipment manufacturers are also turning to nanotechnology. Long-lasting tennis balls are made by coating the inner core with clay polymer nanocomposites and have twice the lifetime of conventional balls. Sunscreens and cosmetics based on nanotechnology are already widely used. Televisions using carbon nanotubes could be used in by late 2006 according to Samsung 16. Manufacturers expect these field effect displays to consume less energy than plasma or liquid crystal display. Sets and combine the thinness of LCD and the image quality of traditional cathode ray tubes. Some of the foreseen applications of nanotechnology in the medium term, the following list gives a quick overview of the many domains where nanotechnology is expected to fundamentally change products and how they are produced over the next two decades. So we have electronics and communications. Recording uses nanolayers and dots, flat funnel displays, wireless technologies, new devices and processes across the entire range of communications and information technologies. Um, factors of thousand to millions improvements in both data 82 storage capacity and processing speeds and at lower cost and improved power efficiency compared to the present electronic circuits. Chemicals and materials. Catalysts that increase the energy efficiency of chemical plants and improve the combustion efficiency of motor vehicles, super hard and tough, drill bits and cutting tools, smart magnetic fluids for vacuum seals and <laughs> lubricants. Pharmaceuticals, healthcare, and life science. Nanostructured drugs, gene, and drug delivery systems target the specific sites in the body, biocompatible replacements for body parts and fluids, self diagnostics for use in the home, sensors for labs on a chip, material, the bone, and the tissue regeneration. Manufacturing. Precision engineering based on the new generations of microscopes and measuring techniques, new processes and tools to manipulate matter at an atomic level, nanopowders that are sintered into bulk materials with special properties that may include sensors to detect incipient failures and actuators to repair 
actual problems. Chemical, mechanical, self-assembling of structures from molecules, bio-inspired materials, and biostructures. Energy technologies. New types of battery, artificials, photosynthesis for clean energy, quantum well solar cells, safe storage of hydrogen for use as clean fuel, energy savings from using lighter materials and smaller circuits. Space exploration. It is a lightweight space vehicle's economic energy generation and management, ultra small and capable robotic system. So, how nanotechnology application um, help the space exploration? So, uh, nanotechnology has a huge help in making space flight more practical advances in nanomaterials like lightweight solar sails and uh, a cable for space elevator possible. By making significantly reduces the amount of rocket fuel required, these advances could lower the cost of reaching orbit and traveling in space. And in, the, in addition to that, the new materials that combined with what we call the um, nano sensor and nano robots. So these are used to improve the performance of spaceship, spacesuits, and the equipment that used to explore the planets and moon. Environment, selective membranes that can filter contaminants or even salt from water. Nanostructure that traps from removing pollutants from industrial effluents. Characterization of the effects of the nanostructures in the environment. Maintenance of industrial sustainability by significant reductions in materials and energy use. It reduces the sources of pollution and increases the opportunities for recycling. So the uh, application of nanotechnology in environment will help to decrease the greenhouse gases and it can help us to repair the environment because the nanotechnology can cause positive and significant changes to air quality water quality and sustainable energy for example is generating less pollution uh, during the manufacture materials and uh, also to increase electricity generated by windmills and for cle cleaning organic chemicals that pollute the ground water and etc. Next is the national security. Detectors and detoxifier of chemical and biochemical agents dramatically uh, more capable electronic uh, circuits. Hard nanostructured coating and materials, camouflage materials, light and salt uh, repairing textile, blood replacements, and surveillance system. So nanotechnology can help uh, also the military in many different ways. It increases the surveillance for better uh, protections like a smaller camera chip, um, small and... Uh, more effective weapons, exploration of the ocean, nanotechnology, and the situation of developing countries. While research and development in nanotechnology is quite limited in most developing countries, there will be increasing opportunities for import nano products and process. It can be argued for the course that nanotechnology could make uh, the situation for developing countries worse by reducing the demand of their exports, notably raw materials. Moreover, even in developing countries, few nanotech projects especially uh, they target the needs of the poor leading uh, to fears of a nano divide similar to digital divide. So the nano uh, uh, the nanotechnology was innovate solution for developing countries to support by the use of this nanotechnologies mainly was target the five areas the water medicine agriculture and food and energy
the top 10 nanotechnology applications. So first is the energy. So the application of nanotechnologies in energy is help to produce more efficient and cost-effective energy by making the production of fuels from raw materials more efficient. And nanotechnology can address the shortage of fossil fuels such as diesel and gasoline by making the production of fuels from low-grade raw materials economical. Next is the agriculture. So uh, the application of uh, uh, nanotechnology in agriculture is that this sector is dealing with the numerous challenges such as rapid climatic changes and a decrease in uh, soil fertility and macro and micronutrient de deficiency and overuse of chemicals fertilizer and pesticide and heavy metal uh, presence in the soil so through the na nanotechnology um, it has uh, contributed to the sustainable agriculture by enhancing the crop production and restoring and improving the soil quality um, example of this uh, nanotechnology applied in various aspects of agriculture is that the uh, nano uh, nano uh, pesticide delivery and the slow and controlled release of uh, nanoparticles containing bio fertilizer and transport genetic materials for crop development and etc. Water treatment. So the nanoparticles are designed to attract the water and are highly porous, soaking up the water. Water like a sponge while repel or repelling to dissolve salts and other impurities and hydropolic nanoparticles and embedded the uh, membrane also repel organic compounds and bacteria which tends to clog up the conventional membrane over the time next is the diagnosis and screening so uh, through, uh, through the help of nanotechnology the, de the detection of the diseases at an earlier stage than possible with the current techniques offers the potential of stopping a disease earlier possibly with less damage of the patient or to the patient for example is uh, for the cancer patient when the nanoparticles attach to the cancer tumor uh, the nanoparticles release biomarkers that molecules called uh, peptides that the idea is that since each uh, nanoparticles carrier several uh, peptides um, tration of these biomarkers will occur even at the at early stage of the cancer and allowing early uh, detection of the disease drug delivery system the application of the nanotechnology for drug deliveries provide the potential for enhance the treatment with the uh, target delivery and uh, fewer side effects so uh, this nanotechnology drug delivery application occur through the use of the design nanomaterials as well as the forming delivery system from nano scale and molecules number six food processing and storage nanomaterials used for food packaging and provide many benefits such as improved mechanical barriers and detection of microbial um, contamination and potential enhance the bioavailability of nutrients and this perhaps the most common application of nanotechnology in food and uh, food related industries next is air pollution and remediation so air pollution and remediation using nanotechnology in several ways one is through the use of nano crystallized uh, with increased surface area of uh, gaseous reactions uh, crystallized work by speeding up the chemical reaction that transform harmful harmful uh, vapors from cars and industries plants into harmless gases Next is the constructions. So, um, using nano uh, coating in construction, it reduces the overall cost of construction maintenance and modifications. Of furthermore, um, nanotechnology can improve the uh, thermal ins insulation of construction materials, uh, which uh, would reduce the carbon emission and contribute to energy conservation.
nine health monitoring through the nanotechnology there are devices could help sick people better manage uh, chronic diseases allow health professional to ma uh, to monitor the elderly uh, from a distance and give healthy people the information to make better uh, decision to keep themselves fit Next is the uh, disease vector and pest control. So today, the nanotechnology is widely uh, widely used uh, to improve the uh, targeted immune responses to the prevention and treatment of the infection and non-infectious uh, diseases. Risk of nanotechnology, the emphasis of what kind of risks involved in nanotechnologies that need to be considered depends on the perspective of the particular organization. These are business risks involved with marketing of nanotechnology and able products, risks related to the protection of intellectual property, political risks regarding the impact of the economical development of countries and regions, environmental risks from the release of nanoparticles into the environment, safety risks from nanoparticles for workers and consumers. Implication of nanotechnology on human health and the environment. A fair assessment of the risk of any new technology must also consider positive contribution to increase safety. The basic innovation that come from nanotechnologies have the potential to contribute to human health and environmental safety in many ways. They have the potential to contribute to solve urgent issues like the provision of clean drinking water or more efficient energy conversion and energy storage. The potential of nanotechnologies regarding economic benefits. The potential to create jobs, wealth, and well-being is very high. The economic growth in the field of nanotechnologies will lead to an increased variety and increased volumes of engineered nanoparticles that are produced, keeping in mind that these free nanoparticles can enter the human body over various pathways, inhalation, ingestion, or via the skin, or disperse into the environment. It is important to understand the implication for human health and the ecosystem. Human Health in the field of medicine, there are quite a few technological developments that promise enhanced diagnostic possibilities, new ways to monitor patients, new ways to treat disease like cancer, and to reduce side effects. Some undesirable implications of nanotechnology to human. A. When bulk materials are made into nanoparticles, they tend to become chemically more reactive. They are very interesting as catalysts, even chemically inert materials like gold or platinum are able to catalyze chemical reaction in nanopowder form. B. Nanoparticles generally are more toxic when incorporated into the human body than larger particles of the same materials. Pre nanoparticles or nanotubes could be inhaled, absorbed through the skin, or ingested. Environment Nanomaterials can be used to assist with cleaning the environment and even provide efficient energy solutions, such as nanomaterial-based solar cells. However, there are both positive and negative impacts on the environment due to nanotechnology. With the help of nanotechnology, water quality can be improved. Some of nanomaterials that can be used for remediation of water are carbon nanotubes. CNTs, cellulites, nanoparticles of zero balloon iron, ZBI, silver nanoparticles, etc. Other nanomaterials like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, tungsten oxide serve as a photocalyst. These photocalyst can oxidize organic pollutants into harmless materials. AI02 is the most preferred material as it has high photo stability, high productivity, easily available, inexpensive, and non-toxic. Silver nanoparticles have antimicrobial effect. Also, many polymeric nanoparticles are being used for wastewater treatment. With the help of nanotechnology, 
toxic gases in the air can be clean. But first, we have to detect the pollutants at the molecular level using precise sensors. A sensor called nanocontact sensor has been developed which can detect the heavy metal ions and radioactive elements. These sensors have a small size, are inexpensive, and are easy to use on site. Therefore, by detecting pollutants by specific sensors, we can help protect the sustainability of human health and environment. Thus, nanotechnology provides us with new approach to cut down the waste production, reduce the emission of greenhouse gases, and discharge of hazardous chemicals in water bodies. Nanomaterials can also have a negative impact. Currently, there is very little information describing the relative environmental risk of the manufactured nanomaterials. Only a few studies have been conducted with the aim of discovering the direct and indirect exposure to nanomaterials and there are no clear guidelines to quantify the effects.